Now this game, oh boy, <laughs> this this genuinely gives me a lot of headache because <laughs> I really don't think that you can go into these finals with this opening being your Queen D8. main response to to e4. So I would love to hear you telling me that ah oh, don't worry coach I have a another opening that I regularly play against d4. <laughs> Sadly, this is the opening I play a lot. <laughs> I know it's dubious. I know it's dubious, but I just, I don't know. There's no explanation to that. Yeah, look, um, we need to fix this. I can, I can, I play, play, I... I can, I can play Sicilian. Um, this is probably something that we will discuss um, in the next lesson or maybe the one after. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you want a drastic change, like, you know, like a completely new no, opening like, I, for... I'm familiar with Sicilian. I have played uh, OTB Sicilian, like, in an OTB Fiddy tournament. Which so, line? Uh, Which C line? C5, E6. E6, so Khan or Paulson? I don't know, like, after, like, uh, maybe just, uh, yeah, E6, D4 takes, uh, Knight F6, Knight C3, Knight C6. And bishop b4. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, the upside of this is, is that it's sound. Yeah. The downside of it is, is that it's really dry. Yeah. That's why I don't, like, so, the majority of the reason I don't play Sicilian is because of e4, c3, because of Alapin. Yeah, look, we can deal with that. Yeah. We can definitely deal with that. But okay, I just wanted to have a look at this game because, yeah. So are these moves following some level of theory or you are completely on your own here? I have some level of theory. Okay, because at one point it definitely derailed really, really badly. Yeah, yeah. And I would say that that's about here. Yeah, about here, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know the system too well, but I think it's B4 early B4 maybe. In. Yeah, I was confused if I have to go B4 or E7. But I went to E7 in the game. Well, I, I don't want to sound like a, a douchebag, but your confusion lasted a whole of two seconds. I mean... <laughs> I, I don't know how your brain works, man, <laughs> but I can't process confusion in two seconds, not even in five. Yeah. It takes me about 10 seconds to realize that it's weird. I'm confused. What's going on? Like, the, that's a mental no, state that requires by confusion, time. I mean, <laughs> by confusion, I mean, like, sometimes I play B4, sometimes I play E7. But no matter which one, it has to be in two seconds, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. that's the bad part. <laughs> yeah, right. So um, I don't know the theory of this. Hmm. Uh, and the only reason why it's reasonably popular is uh, Johnny B. Yeah, it's bishop b4 mm. and queen a5. Mm. These these moves in strong relation to knight d5, yeah. they are the ideas. Yeah. There is not a single positive thing I can say about this line as far as my chess views are concerned. Yeah. Um, so I'm like biting my finger and my tongue every single move, but let's just roll on for a second. Oh boy. Why did you castle here? Just out of curiosity. Bishop h6 and I don't know, maybe knight h6. 98? Is, yeah, 98, okay. I guess it's fine. Look, I, I'm not saying it's pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Right? But it's a... Like, with the... It's a heap. I just want you to delay yeah, you castle go. as long as possible. You wanted to castle long? No, delay it. Like, not castle at all. As long as possible. What? But why? Because, like, uh, if he... I don't know. This like if it, it gives him an easy target to attack if I cast it early. I don't know, man. The chess school I went to, they told me to develop my pieces and castle. Like yeah, even my school did uh, the same that... thing, but like I have changed that rule for myself somehow. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so the irony is, is that there is an element of truth to what you are saying, hmm. but we have to be realistic about which danger you are going to rather face. Hmm. Because after G6, man, I mean... Yeah, Bishop whoa. H6 or something. Yeah, to say the least. But, um, yeah, I mean, the other thing is, is that I don't really see the attack here. Like, 
I, I'm very happy to, sh to for you to show me <laughs> how we are getting killed here. But I actually, sorry, that can't go back there. It has to go like somewhere here-ish. I, I don't know. I, I'm not seeing the mail. I mean, yeah, there will be an attack. It's unpleasant. I hear. Yeah, there's no mail. It's like slow F4, G4. Like he has to build it up. I don't see how F4 is done, doing anything. Hang on. F4, in fact, looks to me like a pretty bad move because it's sort mm. of to cause this is done. So now I may be able to come in here. Look, uh, I can see that this is a bit of a. We are conflicting. There is a conflict between you and me here in the sense that I'm looking for the best move. You are playing the move that you thought gave you the most practical chances. Yeah. And they are definitely not the same moves. Yeah. <laughs> the problem I have with this whole situation is, is that you play this style on the back of a really bad opening yeah. that allows you virtually no leg room whatsoever for inaccuracies. Like if you play the Sicilian dragon with this mentality, yeah, you would be a fish in water. Yeah. But on the back of it is this rubbish uh, Scandi with no center, no two bishops, no king safety. It literally feels like you're playing with fire, man. Yeah. That, that's why I'm really concerned because we're combining two things that are not optimal, <laughs> to, to put it politely. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, so if I was white here, I would probably play here bishop h6. Yeah. I'm guessing you would do this. Yeah, a4. I don't know if it's necessary, and I'm leaning toward the not. Hmm. But for argument's sake, because I have an idea of what you are going to do to me, I'm going to throw this one in. So yeah, b5 is, uh, you know. That was the my est guesstimated move. Yeah. And so what I want you to, this is what I tell my students all the time, mm. that what white has here mm. is everything that I want you mm. to try to go for in chess. Okay. So that's better central control, two bishops, fully developed army mm. and the castled king. This mm. is what good chess looks like. This is how you set yourself up for success. Mm. This is what I don't want you to do in chess ever, which is zero central control, no two bishops, uncastled king, weak dark squares, mm. and the list goes on. Mm. Right? So if I were your coach and I was on a long-term mission of turning you into a good chess player, yeah. I really would give you a lot of hard time yeah. for, or not necessarily hard time, but they made it clear that this is what good chess looks like and yeah. we are on the receiving end of it. Now I show you what good chess looks like uh, in its conclusion. Um, I go here, although, hang on, did I already have this? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that, oh. yeah, I'm here. That just blows it. And then takes and then takes yeah. and then takes and then takes. Yeah. Now this is what rewards you mm. that you are doing this. Because you think you are attacking. You are not my friend. Mm. You are getting absolutely gutted here. Mm. And that's just the laws of chess. That good piece placement and following those principles that I told you. Mm will reward you with actual tactics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's now jump back into reality. Hmm. Um, okay. I don't think 94 is a good move here and they played quite a bit. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Look, you are very good at fishing in murky waters. And that's a great thing. If only you played a little bit better openings oh, to actually allow your, <laughs> your skill set to come out. And uh, you will have to tell me at one point to back off. But the fact that you still haven't lost a single second on the clock is really <laughs> like... Oh, man. This is unacceptable. That is the best word I can offer to you here. Is that it's just not acceptable. 
should be down to half of your time here. Absolutely. 100%. I guess like I'm because used to the situation is like, quite dire. Like the only difference I have, like I'm used to having these kind of positions with black so often, and I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. No, nah, because even then you are absolutely disallowing your own skills to come to the fore. Like even if you have had played this two hundred times, you should yeah. take time just to familiarize yourself with the upcoming moves, the motifs, and so on. I'm Besides, not... whenever you play like this fast, that that means that the entire concept of what is my opponent gonna do after the move I'm about to play is eliminated yeah. from your chess. Yeah, you just which is your one move. of the most one of the most important aspects of how to play good chess is to constantly know your opponent's next move. Mm. You virtually never know, mm. not unless you figure it out whilst they are thinking, mm. but that's already too late. Mm. You should know it before you play a move. Yeah. So you castle, and when you castle, you go like. I reckon they will play h4. Yeah. And then you play your move and yeah. you already continue thinking your initial thought that was that they were going to throw that at you. Yeah. Um yeah, a3 good, 95. What? 95? I mean. Can you please explain to me the purpose of this? Uh, to prevent c4. I thought so. What's the point of c4? No, like if I go knight d5, maybe c4. Oh, and if knight c3, then rook d2. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look, the one thing I have to say is, is that if you saw that in nine seconds, <laughs> you should play for Grandmaster, Grandmaster Norms, no less. Like In that case, um, you should be coaching me and not the other way around. Um, okay, let me just think about this for a second because I'm, bit, I'm still a bit of a non-believer, if you don't mind me. <laughs> so, 95c4, I go bishop f6. Where does the queen go? Queen g3. Okay, and then isn't knight c3 winning? Rook d2, bishop d4. And there's no take takes bishop g6 or anything? No? I didn't think there was. I will have knight a2 check in the end of that line, yeah? Yeah. And your rook has to take and then I retake. If the rook doesn't take, then I will have a check coming in. Yeah. I mean, dude, you're such a good calculator. I can't believe this. I, you, you should actually, if, if I had the power, but I don't want to tell you how to live your life, I would ban you from Bullet and Blitz oh, no. till the end of this tournament. Oh. It would do so much good for you, man. Mm. It's un unreal. Mm. I think uh, you're, the chess skill set that you have, you're utilizing about 10% of that at the best of times. Mm. Just think about that. Mm -hmm. And I understand that, you know, you have a full-time job and you don't have time to play, you know, seven rapid games back to back. That's mm -hmm. totally fair. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it makes my heart bleed, man, because I feel the power. Mm -hmm. And I want it utilized. I still do think that this, like, somehow we should be winning here. Even takes, takes C5 looks very strong, by the way. Yeah. But I reckon take, take, this should be good. Hmm. Maybe takes right away. Yeah, this is a problem. Or could be a potential problem. Fair enough. Some part of me just doesn't want to accept. Um, in fact, all of me doesn't want to accept uh, B5. Hmm. Good. Doesn't achieve anything. Fair enough. No, look, I just feel like this needs to be a goal now because if you do this, I go here, you go here, you can't get in, can you? But then maybe we poor now. And now you want to come in? Yeah. Look, I, I'm not saying no, but this to me again looks like... A, okay, bishop f6 is on now, so maybe I bishop e... Mm. 
back maybe. I mean, the purpose of B5 is to go to B4 in some scenarios. Oh, yeah, most certainly. But I don't know if I feel like we have achieved the maximum that was in it in this. Mm -hmm. You know what? At the expense of making myself look ridiculous, I want to investigate this. Yeah. So 95 is the third best move. Mm -hmm. and, all, and as you can see, B5 is not part of the equation. Yeah. So what, what the engine wants to do is to exploit the dark squares ASAP. Rook A5 is a really cool move. I love it. Mm -hmm. Queen back and then bishop b4. And like okay. And as you can see, you get to go in. Yeah. Like it just felt to me that b5 was just a waste of a move. Mm -hmm. But dude, to figure this out, it would have taken me several yeah. minutes. Yeah, rook a5. At the very least. Yeah. Now the thing is. And I really don't mean to be disrespectful. Is that you get away with a lot of this? Yeah. Against I... people of this level, but I... now you are going to add another two hundred to this, hmm. and they will not be as generous. Yeah. Sorry, I feel like something. I'm not punished enough for my mistakes. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So F four was complete la la land. I mean, he um... wants F five. So I mean. Yeah, but uh, there is a big issue happening now on the other yeah. wing, so yeah. they needed to be more attentive to that. Yeah. Yeah, this knight is a beast now because king b1, knight d5, and they can't stop the penetration, right? Yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. We didn't want to take this. I guess I was in no rush. Okay. You know, but okay. just avoid d6, any, you know, mess. And that was a check, and the follow-up was a check too, but it doesn't matter, you're right. Um, that is, is all good. Um, Queen is seven. And now I feel like after here, I converted in probably the worst possible manner. <laughs> Took like forever. Hang on, why are we not going after checkmate here with yeah. this? I guess I was too afraid of some bishop g6 perpetual of some scenario. I I hear you, man, but yeah, I know you are being extremely lazy. Here. Yeah, I'm being like, extremely Queen cautious. Five, they can't take because it's check. Yeah, but I, no, no, they don't call it precaution because it's not. It's lazy. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, but it's not precaution because this is a checking threat. Yeah. So I call it lazy, as harsh as it is, because yeah. you refuse to calculate here, which, by the way, is your best skill. So it's not very smart of you to do that. Yeah. And if you calculate, you realize that queen a5 is mate. Hmm. So the only move is king a2. Queen c3 is mate again. See, yeah. So rook b1 is only move. Yeah. And now if you want to worry about bishop g6, yeah. which is at the best of times laughable now, yeah. because you take back, they don't even have a check. Hmm. But for argument's sake, let's just say that you want to deal with it. You play rookie six now. And you immobilized half of their army. Mm. And your queen is in here. Rook d8 is going to win the pool. Next move, it's mm. like resign, please. And mm. once again, there's absolutely zero need for this. You can just come here. Like yeah. This take allows you to just deliver faster checkmate here. Yeah. And instead, we play the total pass that puts zero pressure on our opponent. Yeah. And they can do whatever the heck they want. Yeah. The number one rule, my friend, that we want to apply to these types of positions is, is that you want to play the moves mm. that will win the game the fastest mm. because the fastest is the safest. Mm. This is not a safe move yeah. as much as it was played in the spirit of being safe. Yeah. It is a totally unnecessary move that does not allow you to win the game fast. Mm. Therefore, by definition, it's not safe mm. because it allows the game to go on for... Down 28 there. to 45, almost another 20 moves. Yeah. This should have been carnage in 10 mm. pops. Thank God that your opponent, uh, yeah, had no clue. I would I play this, or maybe there is a check here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a bit dirty. Still, okay, fake, still, feel, still, feel. actually, hold on a tick. Thank you. 
Yep. Okay. Green G2. Wow. Yep, that's great. Yep. Whoa. There. I would have played it B4. Is it bad? Seems logical. Yeah, I thought I agree with myself. I don't understand this move. Oh, actually, I know what you're doing here. Uh, you were worried about this, I think, but yeah, for maybe. no reason yeah. because you can just take this. So that was not valid. Hmm. Okay, that was good. the the double up was good. So check check. You didn't want to give up this. That's like false mate. I don't understand. Oh, okay. So check. Oh, sorry. We don't have a check here. Yeah, there's mind. no check. We have check. We have, wait, wait. We have check and go in though. Yeah. And that's just mate, right? Yeah. This. Yeah. This done. Okay. So you went for the actual plan that I wanted to do, except that you chose not to blunder the rook like I did. Um. Okay. Great. Great stuff. Very good stuff.